Hi, welcome to today's lesson, all about food chains. So in the last lesson, you had a little go at making a food chain, hopefully. Uh, today, what we're going to look at is a bit more about food chains. So you've met food chains before. So I want you to, first of all, have a little think about if you're following along with the worksheet attached uh, to the lesson, what do the arrows mean in a food chain? Okay, um, the big misconception here, lots of people think the arrows eat mean what eats what, but the arrows, look which way the arrows go. The arrows show the flow of energy. OK, so if you're following along on the worksheet, the first thing I'm going to ask you to do is I want you to pause the video and have a go at these five retrieval practice questions based on the topic we did previously to this one. So pause the video, have a little go at them and know you find them tough, but that's why we need to do them to get that memory coming back. OK, to keep making sure that we can find all that knowledge inside our brain. So pause the video, have a go at these questions They are on the worksheet attached. Okay, so hopefully you had a go. If you didn't, make sure you pause it now and have a go. Okay, and here are the answers. So you can have a little check against them and go back, maybe rewind the video if you need to. Now I want you to put the following things into a food web. Okay, grass, fox, stoat, worm, snail, owl, vole, rabbit, oak leaves, and hedgehog. So I want you to pause the video, have a go and put them into a food web. Now a food web will be a bit messy, so you need to think, what eats the grass? What eats the fox? Way to stoats, so you're going to have arrows going all over. So I suggest you put those names all over your paper and then start drawing the arrows. Remember clearly what the arrows mean, which ways do they point? Okay, so take your time and think about that. So pause the video, have a go. Okay, so you might be coming up with something like this. Notice the which ways the arrows go. The arrows show the flow of energy. So the vole gains energy from eating the oak leaves, so the arrow goes to the vole. The energy goes to the vole. So food webs contain many interlinking food chains. So here's another food web for you to have a look at. And we're going to look at this in a bit more detail. OK, so if we take out the crab, what do you think will happen? OK, so it's on the worksheet. I want you to write down the answer. I want you to pause the video. What do you think will happen? So if we take out the crab, you need to look at what eats the crab, what's eaten by the crab, what will happen? OK, so think carefully. So if you're still a bit stuck, here's two starter sentences. So the flat winkles would not get eaten, so their population would what? What would happen to the flatwinkles? The herringles have less food, so what would happen to their population? Okay, so think carefully about them. Okay, and the final little bit, you can see there is a food chain, we've got producers, uh, which make their own energy, prime consumers which eat producers, secondary consumers which eat prime consumers, and top carnivores. So we've just got a lot of terminology in here. So your last activity is to go through these terminal pieces of terminology here on the left and match them up with the definition. Now I've put the definition on the worksheet for you, so you just need to write down the word that it's been described by it, okay? And also on the worksheet you've got a little task to do um, going through another food web and answering some questions about about that food web okay finally for this lesson can you complete the exit task attached to the lesson okay well done thank you for showing up great work today don't forget